I don't think there's any debate that September 14th is the biggest date on the boxing calendar worldwide, and that includes Ontario as well, because boxing is coming back to Casino Rama, and the man to my left is going to be headlining there. Logan Cotton McGinnis joins us. How are you doing, man? Good. How are you doing, Corey? Not too bad. And uh, sporting a new haircut as well. Yeah, is that, yeah. that helping you get down to 126? I think so. The extra <laughs> pounds there, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the, the move down in weight. Uh, obviously, coming down now from 130, now you're going to be campaigning at featherweight. You're taking on Sergio Carlos Santion for the NABA featherweight title. Why the drop down in weight? now at this point in your career you know what I just I'm in the gym all the time right my last fight was in December I took a couple weeks off after uh, after the fight enjoyed the holidays with my family but I've been in the gym now almost eight months since right so my weight my walking around weight has naturally gotten down a few few pounds right and I think uh, I'm exactly where I should be in 126 is a, a better weight class for me I think I'm gonna be a big strong uh, 126 pound fighter especially with with my style and the way I like to fight um, I think I'm going to be a big presence in my pressure and stuff, so I think the path to, to a world title, w which is one of my ultimate goals, um, is a lot, lot sooner and a lot quicker at 126. Uh, obviously, I got this first fight September 14th and, and see how that goes, but I think I'm going to be an even bigger 126 and stronger. Well, let's, let's talk about the power. How has it felt in the gym? Because when you move down from 135 to 130, you know, your biggest wins have been because of your power, because suddenly you were able to stop guys yeah. outright, like Benoit Godet, uh, like last time out on Wealth TV. How has it felt in terms of your power in sparring so far? Uh, I, I'm extremely strong, right? But I'm still sparring with, um, with guys that are the same size or even bigger than me, right? I don't really smar uh, spar with too many small guys. Um, I think because I'd be, be hurting guys if I, was, if I was sparring with guys that were 126, right. 130 naturally, I'd be hurting them, right? I mean, so I mean my walk around weight is between 135, 140 right now, where it should be. And I'm sparring with guys probably closer to 140, 150. And I, I still feel strong and I'm, I'm even the, the guy that's pushing them, backing them up and pressuring them. And when we do tie up, I'm the stronger guy in the clinch. Um, so I, I don't, don't see it being an issue at all. It's just, it's just me doing it proper. I had obviously enough time for this fight. Um, and like I said, been in the gym. So it's just me doing it proper, not having to sweat out no weight, naturally getting my weight down within two or three pounds of it, and if I have to, sweating out from there. But not, not like the, a lot of these MMA fighters and some boxers, they like to sweat out 20 pounds, and that, that, that's not something I can do. Um, when it comes to sitting in the sauna, I'm, I'm a very big baby. <laughs> <laughs> You'd rather sit out in the sun. Instead. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's talk about your opponent on September 14th, Sergio Carlos Santillan. Yes. You're going to be younger, you're going to be bigger, you're going to be fresher, yeah. but he does have more experience than you. What have you seen of him on film that might trouble you, if anything, yeah, on the 14th? Um, he, he's a veteran, right? right? 45 fights, um, 30, 30 wins, 12 losses, 3, three draws. Only been stopped once, right? So, I mean, I'm, I'm expecting a tough, tough, rugged veteran in there. But like you said, my youth, uh, my speed, my strength, um, my, my overall physical presence in there, I think, is going to be what's going to... Want to get, get me the win, and I uh, I'm expecting to be the second guy to to stop him, right? Um, but doing it smart, just just breaking him down. Obviously, one of the things we've been working on in the gym is um, starting a lot faster. If you see my last fight, I, I believe you were there. Yep. I started very slow. I was down four four rounds, right? Well, unofficially four rounds. Um, so now we've been starting fast in the gym, and it's been been going good. And I expect to start fast, but smart, right? Still boxing and just being hit a lot less with, with careless stuff, right? Sometimes the early rounds I get, I take careless shots and I don't get my punches off. So I mean, just starting fast and then uh, physically breaking this guy down, hopefully mid to later rounds, hopefully breaking him down and getting him out of there. Well, you should have lots of energy and lots of fanfare to, to help get you started early. But yes. You're going to be headlining at Casino Rama and historically, there's only really been one guy that's headlined at Casino Rama, and that's Steve Mulder, and he became yes. world champion. Yes. And I mean, it is a goal. I was still an amateur back then when I was watching him, right? So now, uh, I, I get to go there and headline, obviously, years later, but um, hopefully this first show goes off great and Casino Rama continues to do that, and hopefully maybe I defend a world title or fight for a world title there one, one day. You're a, a boxing fan as well. Obviously, people who follow you on Twitter will see you live tweeting during fights yes. as well. Yes. You talk about the world title and you look at the, the featherweight landscape right now. There's some names that immediately jump out at me that say to me, hey, if yeah. Logan wins this fight, we could make fights with guys like Nicholas Walters or with Evgeny Gradovich, guys yeah. who have featherweight yeah. titles. Are those names that you're targeting Definitely. right away? When, when, I'm, when I was watching Gradovich fight the other week and I'm like, geez, I, I would take this fight right now in a heartbeat, right? I mean, obviously, I got past September 14th, my first fight at, at a new weight class. Um, yeah, Nicholas, Nicholas Walters too, the Jamaican guy, I would, I would I'd jump in there. He actually, we have a similar opponent, um, Carlos Reyes. That's fought. right. And Carlos Reyes actually put him down. He won, won the fight, but um, he got put down in that fight. 
So, I mean, he's, he's definitely a guy I'd like to jump in there with, too. But um, you said at 126, I mean, I think the, the path is a lot, lot sooner, a lot closer. And if, if, if we can do it this year, the next 12, 12 months, why not? Let's do it. And who knows, if you get that world title shot, you have Hennessy Sports behind you. Yes. Maybe you and Tyson Fury on the same card. You two have the same yes. haircut now. You, I, you know what? We were ju I just tweeted with him the other day. I, I didn't even know that. I noticed you sent out a picture. I seen it, and then I was tweeting with him. I was like, yeah, that's crazy. Irish, Irish boxers think alike. <laughs> that's the new hairstyle yeah. for Irish yeah, fighters. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to seeing uh, the new hairstyle, the new weight class, everything yeah. new, and the old Logan Cotton McGinnis, the exciting one back exactly. in the ring it's on gonna be September exciting. 14th. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.